let's draw some amazing things inspired by this year. 2020. Oh. Hmm. Oh. <laughs> I'm joking, I'm joking. But I obviously only have one thing in mind that symbolizes 2020. And I'm gonna use it to inspire an original piece of work. So let's go. I decided to scan it in different ways to get some cool shapes. And I found screwing it up and closing the lid quickly was the best way to get some variation. So let's see what we've got. These are the best ones and I think I'll use them all in one big piece and each of them will be made into an individual character. And they will be in a scene that is also inspired by 2020 in some way. So after drawing around the shapes, I went about finding faces. This is so fun because I love the unpredictability of it. Starting off with something beyond your control and then honing down and pulling it into something that you do control. The other thing that's cool is that there's no way I would have drawn this face if it wasn't for the mask. It as an object has somehow created a unique illustration style for me, which is so interesting to think about. This shape was a little harder and forced me to create some more exaggerated features. But again, this is why I love doing this, because it opens you up to new things and maybe some happy accidents. They won't always look great, and this might be an example of that. <laughs> but it's all about having fun with it and experimenting and keeping yourself open for the potential of something unexpected that could be great. It could be amazing. I mean, it could change your life. <laughs> and I know how that sounds, but it really could. Um, it's very possible that you might stumble into a style that you really connect with, or an idea even that you wouldn't have gotten anywhere near if you hadn't broken out of your artistic comfort zone in that way, you know? Just helping my spine out a little bit with this drawing board. I put them all together into one canvas and tweaked them a little bit. Before sketching up a scene that they're going to be in. And an underground carriage was the first thing that came to mind which seemed fitting as most of these people did look pretty miserable. I didn't intend to do that, but uh, they were quite miserable. And when I think of miserable people, I do think of London commuters. <laughs> Sorry, London. I might just want to sacrifice the spine health a little bit for some entertainment. Shh. So if you're watching this, it's very possible it's New Year's already, or even very much now 2021. So what's it like? Is it better or worse than this year? How are you doing? Um, I'd like to know. Or if you're watching right now on the day that I launched this, how was your year? What is your hope for next year? Um, I'd be very keen to read that in the comments below. I know it has been a super hard year for everyone to varying degrees, so I just want to send out lots of good vibes to you and hope that whatever comes next is better and hope that anyone who has been alone during this time especially can finally see people properly and reconnect. Um, that's my hope for next year in a way. Really, really hope that happens. Putting in the last details now, playing with some layers, and enhancing some things. And here it is.
Thanks so, so, so much for watching. I really mean that. And um, a big thank you to a thousand subscribers. That's bananas. And for any updates on my latest projects, follow Nick Mac Illustration on Instagram.